Hello all my Virgo friends, welcome to your June 1st through 15th reading for 2020. This is a collective reading for all Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. That means if you'd like to have a private reading, please visit my website, royalmystic.com. I'll be more than happy to assist you. So with that being said, let's get on with the reading. Thank you angels, archangels, divine pure white light. Divine Spirit, Spirit Guides, Gods and Goddesses, thank you so much for being present here to allow all Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance, as always, and welcome this blessed reading. Well, it looks like almost every single card... <laughs> has fallen uh, this would be the bottom card because it fell last so here we go the six of rods that's a victory hallelujah the king of cups the queen of swords being in a place of being in a very strong energy connected to source the ace of cups the support of the universe Wow, relationship, love life, and spiritual life. We have an upgrade energy with the chariot. We have the strength card of the Leo. So you have the Cancer Major Arcana, Leo Major Arcana, and the Four of Swords. So your family might be exhausting you right now just a little. And we have the Star card. Aquarius Major Arcana. The beautiful Nine of Pentacles, the Garden of Eden, and the Six of Swords moving in the right direction. Okay, my Virgo friends, it looks like we're walking walking the walk. Some of you may be leaving a job behind. Some of you may be in the, um, in the process of leaving things behind. So this is removing what no longer serves you from your life and walking from that. Literally taking what you have learned or what you can carry and going forward. Sometimes this means packing and moving. Some of you may be moving uh, jobs or moving places, but it does mean letting go of anything that is not part of your new journey. So we remove that and we walk away. Purging what you don't need. It's just taking up room for the things you do need. <clears throat> In order to receive anything new, you must have a place to put it. The Six of Wands is the energy of victory. This means coming back from battle victorious, being in a very strong a return everyone is seeing singing your name singing your praises if you're in a job interview this is being positioned in the top portion of the people that they're the pool that they're going to pull from if it if not the actual top position this is being very much in confidence and head and shoulders above the rest so or you may have just come through something that you have had to go through for quite some time and it's finally time for you, for it to close for you it could be a legal matter it could be just a situation that you've been waiting to get to the end of we have the king of cups which is a solid offer or it can be relationship offer someone giving telling you how much they care about you it can be also this can be being acknowledged by someone if you've done some kind of service or gotten through a specific um, thing like graduation this is being honored for that okay and this person means it genuinely and it can also be someone acknowledging that they're that they would like to offer you a job or offer you their heart this moves it more in the energy of job or spiritual energy could be the connection we have the queen of swords which means you're in a place of higher service higher energy you're connected to source your third eyes lit up you see that sword is touching that beautiful golden light and we have the beautiful energy of the ace of cups now the queen of swords is an air sign and the king of cups is a is a water sign however in this combination this is meaning the water energy of the emotion is here and the real true energy so this is could somebody some of you may be having a gesture of someone feeling like you are so special and so wonderful this can be a new love beginning now it can be a new beginning of any kind because the cup contains everything in the universe and it is the blessing of the universe to you giving you whatever you may need but oftentimes this energy is talking about having uh, 
the blessing of the of the universe on a love relationship because it, the cup carries the love emotion so if you guys are looking for that and you know i never really put point out uh, love energy unless it's present so this for you if for anybody that's looking for that part this can be two people actually coming together finally you're in this place where you can merge energies and that is a genuine love now it can also be talking about a job because this is the energy of coming through an interview acing it everybody feeling like you are the shining star you are the one for the job so uh, and getting the blessing of the universe in that regard you're getting the knowledge you need from the all-seeing eye the cup contains the dna of life and the cycle is the beginning of a new cycle the moon phases begin again so from the darkness into the light now in relationships love life and spiritual life we have the chariot chariot is an upgrade energy very fast moving it means everything improves around your household and relationships this is the energy of an upgrade this is everything coming in very quickly it is almost like a it just roars in the door right so also can be being put up on a pedestal or being treated with higher regard. Your status may change. You may be looked at differently. Some of you, if, if you're in this part and getting married or getting engaged or starting a relationship, this is that energy of changing uh, your status, going from single to coupled. Now, as an upgrade energy, it means being treated sort of like royalty because that's the kings, queens, and pharaohs rode the chariot. So this is that moment of, of upgrade in all things. You have the strength to endure whatever you need. You have the Leo Major Arcana. So Cancer Major Arcana, Leo Major Arcana. The other thing about this card is it's also Archangel Ariel, the Lion of God. So whatever you have to endure to get to this position or to maintain it, the universe is giving you the dedication of this Archangel to help you through with the loyalty and fierceness of protection. Now, you may be burning the candle at both ends or feeling a little exhausted. Family can do that. <laughs> Being around them so much as we have lately, <laughs> you know, sometimes we're just happy to have a moment of silence. This is that what you need is take that moment of silence. Take, take your moment in nature. Allow yourself to restore your vitality through nature. When you go outside in the backyard or wherever, outside in the front yard, wherever you are, you allow the universe to restore you because every single thing that is a living thing, in, like grass, butterflies, bees, um, anything that comes, that's why I don't run from bees. Because I know, I understand if you're, you've got a, an allergy, that's one thing. But you should never... Um, what it's doing is it's coming toward you kind of to give you its life force. So it's attracted to you to lend you its source. That's what the uh, reason why, you know, you have to be in a place of receiving rather than fear of what it's going to do. Just sit and let it let it do its thing because it's just going to fly around and then move on. But every every blade of grass, every bird, every insect, every everything, every ray of sunshine, every photon is going to give you its life force voluntarily. It's geared to do that automatically. So just 15 minutes outside will restore you fully. We have the six of, oh sorry, backwards. The <laughs> didn't, didn't move them, I was too busy talking. We have the six of, okay, six of swords is the last card, so we don't have to talk about that yet. Thank you, people. So we have the star card, which is the energy of the Aquarius Major Arcana, which is the beautiful opening of your soul energy. This is bringing your soul into this beautiful awakening. You've got your third eye here. The third eye is the beautiful opening of your third eye, and the chakra is open, and it means that you receive your soul's desire being granted by the universe. So we all have our moments uh, that, that we know are bigger than we are, and we feel something coming, and we know something's big and, and opening for us. And we've got to understand, it's just like... Um, an, it's an endless growth, and it just keep you just keep moving up and up and up and up and up, and you don't have to worry about. It's not like how school is, where it's measured in grades. You don't have to go. You know, you don't. You can't get a C plus, and you can't get. Uh, um, you know, super. Everybody gets their own 
thing, whatever you're qualifying, whatever, whenever you've grown to a certain point, the universe will take you to the next level. And the levels are endless. So you don't have, nobody's ahead of anybody. Everybody's journey is different. So just know that whatever's happening for you, this particular level is being opened for you. And now you're feeling very secure because you understand. And usually it means that you've experienced something that makes you know that the universe has your back. Because this Nine of Pentacles is talking about being in a place of very strong energy of receiving. And when you believe, this is the key here everybody, when you know that the universe is going to turn it around, no matter what it looks like at the onset, and you, you have this just core belief, your faith is bigger than the fear of not getting it, knowing that the universe will find a way, some way to make this make it all right or make it change or make it make you go in another direction and and restore you each time it absolutely makes it true we are self fulfilling prophecies each and every one of us what you believe is what you bring so if if that's a choice and that's where you have to get that that energy of we have a choice we have a choice to believe what we see in front of our eyes or we have a choice to believe what we want to manifest what we want to see what we want to draw in and when you realize that you realize you're never really stuck the universe will always provide and when you believe it it's true and it looks like you're graduating with the six of swords here moving in the right direction leaving the negativity behind moving forward following higher self into the right new thing so you're launching in a new direction here and it doesn't mean it's leaving anything that you don't need because this is a soul journey. So this is something coming through here that's absolutely on point and you're following your higher self with this moon and allowing yourself to go on the journey with the universe, which is amazing. So let's see what the clarifiers have to say. Oops, left one. Thank you angels, archangels, divine pure white light, divine spirit, spirit guides, Make sure one didn't flip. Gods and goddesses. Thank you so much for being present here to allow all Virgo, sun, moon, and rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for your divine guidance as always, and we welcome this blessed reading. Thank you for your energy. So, let's see. So we have the Five of Swords, Six of Swords, good progression. Your Virgo Major Arcana, see that light matching? Beautiful. There's the Ace, you've got the Ace of Cups with the Ace of Pentacles. It's beautiful to have two Aces. That is a, a restoration energy of something that's being given in that energy of renewal. There's the Strength card again, definitely getting that support. The Ace of Rods. Some of you are starting a new relationship and or a new business or job. And the Knight of Rods are ready to take action. So that's why you have to be let yourself restore because it's going to require your energy and, and tenacity. The Fool card, the new beginning begins, the adventure begins, closing out what no longer serves you, releasing the fear. That Six of Swords is a closure. And as you move forward, I mean not Six of Swords, Ten of Swords is a closure. The Six of Swords is the... Six of Pentacles and Six of Swords are together here, which is a, a, a motion and movement toward the future in a good way. So it means getting something better in both of these cards. The Six is the progression. Just like that Six of uh, um, Rods that's up here at the top, you have three Sixes out here. So that's pretty amazing. And then we have the Seven of Cups. Now, the Seven of Cups is right here with the Seven of Swords. You got the blessings in abundance. The Seven of Swords is the energy of things overflowing in abundance. This is what I call the dump truck load of blessings. Bringing forth so much things at the same time, you're going to feel like you have to kind of roll your sleeves up and, and there might be quite a bit of action happening where you have to process the blessing. But it nonetheless is what you've asked for. So that's the only thing you have to remember is when you get into the part where you're really um, going at it, you've got to remember you asked for it. <laughs> that's the old be careful what you wish for thing. 
Success brings work. It's as simple as that. So here is the Six of Wands. And that's the energy of being head and shoulders above the rest, victorious, whatever it is you've been working on, is now going to come to fruition and you're going to be able to claim the victory. Now, there's an energy here of the Five of Swords, which means there's some a moment where you're at the end of getting, right before you hit this point where you actually come back victorious. This is where you're, the fatigue kicks in. You're getting a little battle fatigue. Don't give up because you're almost to this win. Do not quit five minutes before your miracle. I can't say that enough. That is a phrase that gets me through more trouble than, than I can tell you. My life has been changed by that phrase because there's lots of times when you just have to talk yourself into putting one foot in front of the other to continue. This is the way life works. We get to a place where we're exhausted and we want to give up because we haven't got what we thought we should in the time frame we thought we should. And that's the whole point is you have to be able to push past that little bit of fatigue and then all of a sudden it breaks through. King of Cups, being, giving, being given a, a wonderful offer here and allowing yourself to go with it. Okay, so the King of Cups is someone who's truly interested in your betterment. And this is the Six of Swords saying, you know what, I'm going to take you up on that offer. I'm ready to launch in my new direction here. So whether it's a relationship or a job or even launching your own business, this is the point where you're able to follow that. You've got it over here too, so that's showing you. So that's four sixes now. We have the Queen of Swords, which is you being in a place of absolutely connecting to source and being able to be really guided and there you are with your Virgo major arcana it's confirming that and the source energy here in the lamp so it's a very similar picture and that means your energy is tuned in and with that the universe says well we decide we're going to give you a little extra heaping helping and this is the holy grail being given with the knowledge of the universe so what you don't know will be given to you. You don't have to worry. That's something I had to learn myself is I don't have to be the expert at something. As long as I'm doing what the universe is calling me to do, it will bring me the information I need. It just downloads it directly to me. We have the Ace of Pentacles, which is the restoration of financial security for many of you. It means being restored wholly to your status of being viable and have a, a secure platform to stand on. So that is a restoration which we all appreciate. Now the chariot rising up, moving forward. This is the Cancer Major Arcana. If you have a cancer in your life, this is being very much in a place of pr promotion, rising up, being in a place of moving forward with the Strength card. So the universe is giving you Archangel Ariel. This is the Leo Major Arcana, so that you may have a Leo in your life. But this is loyalty of the, the universe to stand with you and help you promote up into the next level. <clears throat> we have the Strength card again, so it's telling you for sure you will be given the assistance you need. You will have people around you who help lift you up and keep you focused. And the victory, so the Ace of Rods is it can be a blooming new relationship. It can also be planting your roots and having your your wonderful job that you've been working toward. This can be the victory for some of you established. So very strong roots established and the and the flourishing of the beautiful flowering of the the the, the abundance and the sun in the background. Anytime you see the sun in the background, it's confirming a victory. Always a good energy. Then we have the four Swords telling you, you know, don't get yourself too worn out. Make sure that you do take good care. Self-care is important. And because you're going to need it. There's going to be action to be had. You're going to have to take hold and do something uh, to keep this going. So once this starts to flourish, you're going to have to keep up with it. Which I think is what that seven of, once you let go of what no longer serves you, you're going to be flooded with, with what the opportunities are next. Now we have the star card, which is spiritual awakening it can mean ascension it also is the third eye lightening up and it means that the universe is saying yes to something that's on your soul journey and look at that the fool the fool is the entire story of tarot he, it starts with him 
So the fool is the zero in the major arcana, which is the unbroken circle of life. It also means an ending and new beginning simultaneously, taking the adventure. And you see his little pack is very small, so you can't take a bunch of old stuff with you. So that's why you have to release over here. And the universe isn't going to let you take a whole bunch of stuff with you. You have that ten of swords here. So as you stand in the, the knowledge that the universe is providing for you and will continue every time exactly what you need on time. It's never going to be one second too late. So always, always right on time. Then we have this the nine of pentacles, which means literally money growing on trees or whatever you need to be provided will be provided. Remember, faith Bigger than fear equals manifestation. We have the Ten of Swords, which is saying the universe is helping you to, to let go of the fear and stand in that faith. The, as the storm clouds are removed from this Ten of Swords, Ten of Swords means the last of the cycle. You've done this cycle. You're finished with fear. Let it go. Remove it. Remember, we're removing it. We're replacing it with this victory. We have the Six of Swords, which is saying now we're launching in the right direction, leaving the fear behind, moving forward, which is the top story again. And the Six of Pentacles, which means you get more than you even anticipated. This is above and beyond extra being given to you. So it can be uh, anything of value. So it doesn't have to just be money. Everything isn't about money. So abundance is abundance. We like it in, in any form. So all my Virgo friends, this is a fabulous first half of June. I'm so happy to deliver you this message. Y'all get it, get it, because this is amazing and I'm so happy for you. Have a wonderful first half of June. I'll speak to you again soon. Namaste. Stay well.